many of the biggest companies in the world are here this week at CES 2016, but so are some of the most innovative startups. So we have a smartphone case that print pictures instantly, but what's even more amazing is that those pictures are actually movies, giving someone else the whole moment and, and it lives inside a picture. You just need to plug your smartphone in it and, uh, and then you take a picture and it prints instantly. There is uh, no ink needed, it's only a special type of paper, it's uh, thermal printing in color. As the flagship startup destination, the Eureka Park Marketplace returns to CES, providing rising stars the opportunity to unveil their game-changing technologies. Let's check it out. We've taken pulse oximetry, which is the little red light they clip on your finger in the hospital, and we've miniaturized it into a baby sock designed to alert you if your baby stops breathing. You put it on your baby before they go to bed at night, and then it connects via Bluetooth low energy to the space station. It's designed to alert you with both a red light and uh, a noise, connects to your smartphone, it also designed to alert you there. It empowers parents in the home, it provides res researchers with more infant health data than they've ever had access to, which is going to change health outcomes. Since launching at CES in 2012, Eureka Park has grown more than 400%, proving that emerging innovation is at the heart of CES. So the National Science Foundation has been a sponsor at Eureka Park for, I think it's been five years now. Startups are really one of the reasons people come to CES and see, you know, some of the hot new startups and some of the technologies that are going to be coming down the pike, uh, you know, a few years from now. From location tracking, a lot of robotics companies, a lot of smart health companies, um, just a, a really wide array of what we fund. A recurring theme at the show this week is technology changing the world, and there's no shortage of life-enhancing technology here at Eureka Park. We built an artificial intelligence to help the blind and visually impaired identify almost any object within the household. It's a free app called iPolyVision. It's a simple button, and it starts identifying things around the house. Uh, anything that may, uh, someone may not want to identify by using touch. For example, if you go to a public toilet or if you're in an unfamiliar zone, you can simply turn on your phone and it becomes like a seeing guy. Microsoft Maps. Linksquare is a uh, portable, affordable, smartphone compatible spectrometer for food, drug, and material identification. We make it really small and compatible, and it's much more, more accurate for, compared to other, other uh, existing ones, and we can do a lot of things. We uh, help people to identify the real one from the uh, fake one or the generic one. Wearable technology, sensors, innovations and accessibility, and so much more. The future of technology is here this week at Eureka Park. For CES TV, I'm Krista Solano.